Hello, Michael Ricci, owner of Sunset Ridge Exteriors, and today we're going to talk about storm damage, specifically hail damage. We've had a recent event in Wisconsin which caused quite a bit of hail damage. The first thing you need to do is lock your doors, pull your shades, and turn off the lights because the storm chasers are coming. I was recently out on a neighborhood where they had some storm damage, some hail damage, and there were nine different people walking up and down the streets, all from out of town. A few important things to remember. Don't let anyone up on your roof. You don't know whether they are insured or properly insured for the state of Wisconsin, especially if they are an out-of-state vendor. Don't sign anything. They will present you with a form that says if they find hail damage that you sign this form, and if you don't go with them, the fine print says that you have to pay them 30%. It really doesn't matter what they say. It matters what the insurance company says about hail damage. And every insurance company has a little bit different idea or different definition on what hail damage is. Here's a few important things to remember about hail damage. Typically, hail damage is, not, is just cosmetic. It, it kind of looks like a paintball hitting your shingle and it will take off the granulars, but very seldom does it cause a catastrophic failure where the roof will leak. Over time, the roof will deteriorate and start to fail quicker than a normal roof would, but that's over an extended period of time, three to five years. We always want to get that fixed, but there is no significant rush to get that done. It is also important to remember that you have one year from the date of the occurrence to file a claim. In some instances, and in most instances with hail damage, the longer it sits up there, the more apparent the hail becomes. We also like to work with local adjusters. That's important because when we get a large storm, a insurance company will send in what we call catastrophic adjusters who do nothing but travel the country, go from home to home, and adjust homes. They're paid on per basis, as our other adjusters are, but we always prefer to work with our local adjusters. So what do you need to do? After the dust settles, look for a reputable contractor, one that has a storefront and references. Call your insurance company and let them know you have a local contractor who will be on site when the adjuster comes out. That's important because we as contractors don't have an emotional connection to that house, and the adjusters would prefer to work with someone who is a bit more professional and doesn't have that emotional tie. I've really seen homeowners and adjusters get into it pretty big when they don't agree and the homeowner feels it's being slighted. As the contractor, we can talk from a non-emotional side of what specifically is going on, what damage we see, and can usually get a much more accurate um, claim to, for us to work off of. Once we get that claim, we will sit down with the homeowner and we will take a look at it. Here's some important things to remember about the claim. You have a full replacement value on your claim. That will be the first line. The second line will be less your depreciation. And the third line will be your actual cash value. It is important to remember that that typically is the check that you will get is the actual cash value. It will be minus your deductible. That check is traditionally made out to you and the bank. So you will need to have your bank involved in order to get the money available to do that repair. That's where your local contractor will come in and get you a repair invoice, a lien waiver, and the license information so the bank is ensuring that the work is done properly. The depreciated value is the, is the value that you will receive back from the claim once the work is completed. Again, your local contractor will fill out all the information, work with your insurance company to make sure that that money is recovered properly. It will also work with the bank to make sure that the work is done. The check is typically sent out about 10 days to 2 weeks after the work is completed, and that's the best way to handle any type of hail damage. If you have any questions, you can certainly reach us at 608-838-2500 or me personally at michael at trisunset.com. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening.